Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to uh, another brand new video. Um, recently, we have a new chapter. A My Hero Academia chapter 401. In the last chapter, we pretty much saw, you know, Stain arrive to help all my. Yeah, we pretty much know that this was going to happen. I mean, I really was concerned particularly that this was actually going to be a fantastic battle between, you know, a villain and a hero versus a villain. <laughs> so... So this is chapter 401, so let's go and dive one in and see what's up. Let's do this. So we got the 401 spoilers, and the battle between All Might and All for One is continuing yet again in this chapter. Except this time we have another person joining the battle, and that's Stain. Because coming off the previous chapter, we saw that after All for One got hit by All Might's giant laser, he wound up looking younger and he was like glowing for some reason and uh, this like appendage started to grow out of his back until suddenly it's he gross. was frozen and that's because stain had shown up on his glider and he licked like this piece of debris that had all for one's blood on it which activated his quirk and that was like the crazy cliffhanger and that brings us into this chapter where we see a flashback of stain flying to all my and all for one's fight with his glider he deduced what was going on from the conversation between all might ingenium and the scar kid the closer he got the more debris and trails of blood he saw he wasn't sure if the blood was all might's or all for one's so he decided to smell it and since he knows all might's smell from camino he confirmed that it wasn't his cut back to the president stain wonders if all might was understanding of the meaning of his own existence <laughs> that's hilarious like how did he know that, that was <laughs> all might's blood because of his smell i mean yeah he knew all might's smell from when he met him in camino but i don't know <laughs> that justifies him knowing what his blood smells like <laughs> it doesn't really matter it's just horikoshi trying to make sense of stain finding all for one's blood on debris here Stain said all of that in Camino because he wanted All Might to value his own life and continue to fight death, and All Might says that he got it. The two go for an attack, and Stain does his own version of I am here, but it's useless. All for one uses forced activation and phlebotomy. So I think what Stain is talking about here is from chapter 326 when he meets All Might. He says a hero can only claim that title as long as his soul burns fiercely in the service of others. However, say a god has fallen prostrate upon the earth and his divine soul has turned feeble and mortal. He says a lot of other stuff too, but yeah, this was his uh, point the whole time. As it was implied, like, Stain knew that that was All Might. But anyway, back to All for One activating forced activation and phlebotomy, because this combo of quirks causes All for One's blood to leave his body and splash around. All for One says he knew Stain would try to do something against him since he was the only one to leave Tartarus on his own, so he came out with a plan. Oh, man. All right. I guess we'll have to go along with this. I, you know, it does make sense. All for one thinking like, oh, Stain broke out of Tartarus. You know, what if I ever ran into him one day? What if he got some of my blood and then activated his quirk? What could I do to get out of that? And, you know, he would think about that. You know, why not? It makes sense. I mean, but first, let's talk about the sponsor of this video, Skillshare. Skillshare has classes on a wide variety. I heard about that topics, website, including illustration. It's actually very useful, even though I never tried. Well, I've writing, seen it. Animation, fine art, music, film and video, crafts, social media, and more. Whether you want to learn the basics of watercolor painting or learn how to start your own creative business, Skillshare has classes to take you from beginner to pro alongside a supportive community. So for me personally. Personally, being a content creator, Skillshare is a very useful resource. I've run into burnout a lot and have creative issues. So using classes like ChatGPT for creatives, AI-powered SEO, marketing, and productivity by Peggy Dean, Peggy helped me craft ChatGPT prompts that are tailored for my specific needs and objectives and which ones are most likely to be successful. This was such a useful class, guys. I can't stress this enough. I also took Make AI. I work for you break creative block by Smith Mystery. So like I said, I've been encountering a lot of creative block 
and I've needed fresh inspiration for a new project. He showed me how to brainstorm prompts that will generate ideas unique to my own style and subject, and also showed me a new AI tool that I didn't even know about, Adobe Firefly. So guys, if you're looking to feel the same way, join Skillshare today by clicking the link in my description, because the first 1,000 people to use that link will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Thanks, guys. He has these quirks. Does that make sense? Why not? He can have any quirk. That's like all for one. I do I say all for one is gross. Doesn't make him completely overpowered. Like there is a chance that he can be defeated for sure. It's not like you need complete Deus Ex to defeat him, but I do like the way that he's getting out of here. Just pulling the blood out of his body so that he's no longer paralyzed and then staying alive by, you know, whatever, some other quirk or at least just functioning. But anyway, Stain says that he just has to lick his blood again, but all for one also used antigen modification to change his blood's composition. Fleeing without leaving evidences is how he stayed in the shadows for all these years, after all. A mouth then comes out of his back and bites Stain. So the justification for all for one having this antigen modification quirk wow. changes blood composition. Is That's incredible. That's insane. Years in case, I don't know, his got out somewhere for some reason or i don't know maybe it changes more than just his blood's composition maybe like just did i don't know whatever kind of dna he leaves behind possibly but now he has uh this mouth coming out of his back and biting stain we saw like a thing coming out of his back in the previous chapter i guess this is tied to that stain is bleeding and all for one mocks him saying that taking off his own blood or replacing it has made him cool down all Might shouts Stain's name, but All For One throws him several blocks away, then flies off. Stain is knocked down in a game center, and All For One is going to steal his quirk. All Might is flying towards them, and All For One starts talking. He says that Stain was important to Tomra and the League's growth, but his role in this story ended there. And Stain says that that's not true, because they're all part of one big process. So that's kind of like a meta comment from All For One here. Because that was pretty much uh, where his role in the story ended there. I, I mean, Stain's impact on the series remains to this day for sure. Like, he caused a few things that led to a few things. While he's not as relevant as he was, like, let's say in the first 100 chapters, he still does have somewhat of a lasting legacy on the series regardless, even if they don't talk about it. But Stain's essentially is like, no, that's not true. And then going further, he's like, even though he didn't finish high school, All Might taught him the meaning of being a hero. Win this and keep living. And Stain raises his hands as if he's praying. And on the next page, All For One punches him and a lot of blood comes gushing out. So some backstory on Stain here. Didn't finish high school, which uh, not shocking. But, um, you know, also showing that All Might was his inspiration, as we always knew, like, he was a fanatical All Might stan. That was, like, the core backstory that we got from him. But as for it saying All For One punching him and a lot of blood comes gushing out, I guess this is his death, uh, for sure, right? Only one he punch and that, that's it? One. I mean, I don't know if he's dying right here necessarily, but this is going to lead to his death, I assume. All For One then turns around to attack All Might, too. But Hercules comes to protect him. All Might was sure that the car had already been entirely destroyed, but there were still a few pieces left. It also tells All Might to live and gets destroyed by All For One's laser. The next page shows All Might laying on the ground, and as Nana tells him to get up, he also sees Night Eye and understands that they're just illusions and that it's his body trying to encourage him. He already lost all his support items and his legs aren't moving. So yeah, All Might ha is finally, like, stripped of his armor. He has, like, nothing left at this point since that last piece got destroyed by All For One's laser. So now he just has, like, his suit on again and he's, like, crawling. And he says, I'm not dead yet. Come over here. All Might is covered in blood and crawling on the ground, but he's still smiling. And the last page shows All For One watching the falling UA. As the cops say that he has gotten close enough to Shigaraki, he can now use the goo teleport quirk. Wow. So we've actually come to this point. That's not good. That means that in the next couple chapters at least, we're going to see uh, Shigaraki merge with All For One. And I think Shigaraki will like completely take out All For One at that point. 
and become the dominant personality, but have like all the power essentially. And then uh, I suppose we'll go into the final battle between him and Izuku. But we're probably going to get an All Might death before that as well. But <laughs> let me know what you think about this chapter in the comments, guys. I'll talk more about this in my review on Friday. But if you like... Okay. Oh, things have gotten worse and worse and worse. Stain arrives. He helped All Might for a little bit. Then... Do a few attacks on all for one, try to support all my then gets punched in the face. Dead, I'm not sure, but pretty much he's knocked out. And all for one is bleeding and he has no support items and now he's pretty much on his death storm right now. So as far as I can tell that what he said it might be true. If Shigaraki merges with all for one, he's probably gonna take him out and then get all the power and probably face off, you know, Deku. So that's gonna be bad news. So I don't know how that battle's gonna turn out, but I'm pretty sure we all know that Deku is gonna win for sure because <laughs> you know him and Shikaraki they, they had their moments. I mean, of, of course you know during the UA and the Mall they had some ups and downs, but they never actually fought before. And you know Deku knows what Shikaraki is capable of with Decay, and I think Shikaraki knows how capable Deku is too because you know they had that their fight in season six, so. Even though Deku didn't have a chance to finish, he did was able to finish him up because, well, he was until off one interrupted him and, you know, yeah, things got a little sidetracked. But I have 100% chance that Deku's going to win. So no doubt about it because we all love Deku and I love him very much. So, But this chapter was pretty much dramatic, I'd say. But it's it's okay. It's okay. It was a good chapter. Good chapter for me. And Stain did his part. You know, he he did the best he could to help All Might. But, you know. I still don't like him though. Yeah. Alright folks. That's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. And I'm looking forward to see what happens in the next chapter of 4, 402. So, later.